In this video, I'm presenting my work on robust model predictive control using data-driven Kuman operators. I completed this work with Stefano De Cairano and Abraham Vinod during my internship at the Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories, otherwise known as MERO. The problem we are addressing considers unknown nonlinear dynamics, a known target state, safety constraints on state and input, as well as a collection of measurements of states and controls that provide the basis for training a model. The goal is to control the unknown dynamics safely anywhere in the state space, even far away from the training data, while at the same time converging towards the goal state. To benefit from the simplicity and computational advantages of linear models, we use the training data to obtain a Kuhlman representation. Kuhlman models are linear with respect to lifted basis functions called psi, which are nonlinear functions of the state. We then consider explicitly a state and control dependent modeling error. In this work, we explore Hankel Kuhlman models that use past measurements of the state and control to form the basis functions. Besides any other benefits of Hankel Kuhlman models that have been shown in the literature, Using only past measurements allows the user to avoid the tedious and open research task of selecting nonlinear functions as basis functions for the Kuhlman model. Note that you can transform from the lifted Kuhlman space to the original low dimensional state space without loss of accuracy, provided that the system states are included in the basis functions. We train a Kuhlman model using a least squares closed form solution that is computationally efficient to solve. Kuhlman based control has enabled fast nonlinear feedback using linear tools, but existing approaches ignore the modeling error during control, which can lead to constraint violations. Our approach assumes that the unknown dynamics are ellipses continuous and uses the training error of data driven Kuhlman models to approximate ellipses constant for the state and control dependent model error. If the Lipschitz constant of the dynamics is known, one can use the formula we have derived in order to compute the Lipschitz constant for the model error. Alternatively, and what we used in our experiments, one can also approximate a low bound for the Lipschitz constants from the training measurements as shown here. We then use the Lipschitz constant to bound the prediction error along the planning horizon and formulate a convex, robust, finite horizon of more control problem that is real time implementable. For more details, I invite you to refer to our paper. We demonstrate the efficacy of our proposed algorithm by using the dynamics of a Duffing oscillator and showing that the proposed method called RKMPC, starting from two different conditions, safely converges to a target that lies far from the training data. On the other hand, nominal MPC is unable to satisfy the state constraints and exits the safe set. The two plots show the performance for the two different initial conditions. And this simulation is able to run in real time using our Python implementation at 66 Hertz. We also use RKMPC on the dynamics of a quad rotor and so that it safely converges to the target. Whereas nominal Koopman MPC violates the state constraints and exits the safe boundary after only 10 seconds. Using two pass measurements of state and control in the basis functions, a trained Koopman model has 44 degrees of freedom and runs in real time with our Python implementation. In summary, the proposed RKMPC algorithm is a convex formulation with minimal approximations to the original optimization problem. It is also real time implementable, even in Python and also data efficient, showing that it can safely control the Duffing oscillator and the quad rotor with significantly less data than competing robust MPC methods. Ideas for future work include extending our work and analysis to general Kuhlman basis functions and further reducing the computational complexity and conservativeness of the prediction bounds. Thank you for listening.